Welcome to the French Newfie. I'm Erin McDonald. Today I'm going to be making for you a beer cheese fondue. It's ooey and gooey and perfect for this time of year. We're in the cold months. So I already have a nice German beer. I have two beers that I've put down into my pot and that's just boiling on low. It's like a, a rolling boil right now. I'm gonna turn it back a little bit so that it's not boiling hot. I just want it to be simmering at this point. And I have an Emmental cheese and Gruyere. Very good and melty and Swiss cheeses. One is already grated for me. I'm gonna get on to the next one. Perfect, this is the nutty Gruyere. It's delicious. It has a really nice high melting point, which is what you need for this beer fondue. So let me just get the rind off and then go down with my box grater and get some of that into there. Now fondue in French actually means melted and <laughs> I just love melty cheese. You can get all kinds of fondues. Um, wine is a very classic fondue um, and cheese, of course. And then there's chocolate fondue. But because I like savory dishes, I really enjoy the cheese fondues. Another thing that I've actually added to the fondue and is quite common is garlic. And what you do is you usually rub the inside of a fondue pot with garlic. But instead of doing that, because I don't have the typical fondue pot, I just crush the garlic clove like this on the board, threw it in. Before I put my melting cheese or cheese to melt in the pot, I'm just gonna sift that out. But the broth now and the beer is flavored with that garlic. To take it a step further, I'm gonna add some sherry as well. And that's just gonna make it a little more richer and round out some flavors. So now I have the beautiful Gruyere cheese, which is really nice and nutty. And I'm gonna get that right into my sherry and beer broth little by little at a time and get my whisk and start moving that around. It melts really quickly. There you go. Little by little. Perfect. Now while that's melting, I'm gonna open up my Emmental and get that in there as well. Perfect. I also had some seasonings. I want to add some nice mustard and I have a Coleman's French mustard. This stuff has a little bit of bite, but I like that. So get a little dollop of that Coleman's mustard. I have some white pepper, so get a little bit of that. Go in with some more cheese. And let it just melt, ooey and gooey. I can smell the sherry and I can smell the beer. This is gonna be great in the evening. It's great if you have company coming around, it's a perfect starter. And now we're gonna go in with that nice Emmental and continue to mix it. You, what you don't want is the cheese to turn into a big ooey clump and that can happen if you pour it all in at once. So slowly just go in with this. Beautiful. I love the smell right now, <laughs> my gosh some wine in the afternoon with this, it would be perfect. I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper because I like a lot of heat. Just give it a little added punch and as well a pinch of salt. And continue to stir. It's melting lovely now. At this point, I'm just gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna go in with some more of that beautiful and then all the cheese. Keep going. Off to the side, what I have are some bread, I have some gherkins, some sausage. You can use apple slices are nice. Typically anything that you would pair with cheese. And I have some nice soft and squidgy pretzels. So this is melting. It's just gonna take a couple of more minutes. And while it's melting, I'm gonna get my beautiful board ready for presentation and serve it and pour the rest in. There we go. And just let that melt all together and we're gonna be ready. 
So I have some nice chorizo sausage, and I like chorizo because it's paprika inside of it, and it's just got a really nice salty bite. It's going to be great to dip down inside of this fondue. Let me just give it another little stir. Oh yeah, so gooey, so rich and delicious, and the smell in here is fabulous. So just get that down like this and push this off. If you had a fondue bowl, you can use the fondue, but I actually don't have a fondue bowl, so what I'm using is a nice copper pot. It's great for presentation, and it retains the heat really well, so we want our cheese fondue to stay nice and melty. I also have some gherkins, and the gherkins are really nice and pickly and salty, and it's an unusual combination, but it will go really well with the cheese as well. And as I mentioned, I have some nice soft pretzels. And pretzels are great. You can buy them in the bakery fresh these days. So just get them out. And onto my board. Make them into little pieces so that way you can dip it. There we go. Lovely. Now I'm just gonna get my fondue set up in a little in a little board on my copper bowl to show you and when we come back it's going to be ooey gooey and delicious and so now it's all melted and ooey and gooey my kitchen smells like beer and sherry and all those beautiful Swiss cheeses. And I have this copper pot, like I said, it's gonna retain the heat. I don't have a fondue pan, but that's fine. And I just wrapped a little clean kitchen towel around the ends. It makes for a pretty presentation, I think. So let me just get this into my other pot. Ah, oh, there we go. This is heavy. Oh yeah, look at all that cheese. Oh my God, this is so delicious and sinful. But this would really, really warm you up on a cold winter's evening. Delicious. I'm just going to go in to show you how beautiful it is. If you dip your bread in, that's like food porn right there with all that Emmental and Gruyere and a little bit of that cayenne pepper and white pepper. Delicious. I really hope that you don't get intimidated by making fondue at home. You can do it. Give it a try. Enjoy. Enjoy.